Cleanup continues in St. George tonight where local state of emergency is in place after those flash floods last night. Chopper 5 gave us an exclusive look at the damage and a sinkhole that swallowed up a car. New specialist Lad Egan is now live with an update on the damage and frustrated business owners. Lad? Yeah, well, it has been a busy day of clearing mud and fixing streets. St. George City still assessing the dollar amount of the damage, both the city infrastructure and also to private businesses. The water came in through the back door. Cabinet shop owner Sam Fisher says thousands of dollars of wood is ruined. It's basically firewood now. So the whole part needs recut and replaced. This is the third time his business has flooded, and he's now calling on St. George to upgrade the drainage system near the building. So I can't keep absorbing the costs. The first two times I just absorbed the costs. Um, but this time is a little worse. Something has to be done. Victoria Harris owns the flooring store next door and says the lack of storm drain maintenance has also cost them thousands. It's been three times that it's happened in the last six years. And I just think that, you know, there's just neglect in keeping that clean. This hit so quickly and so hard. St. George Mayor John Pike toured the damage today with Governor Gary Herbert. But we do know there's property damage. Uh, the city's working on that. And there's probably uh, 15 or 20 homes that have flooding. The flash flooding caused sinkholes, destroyed cars, and sent water rushing into student apartments. We did declare a, a local state of emergency. The mayor promised the city would support those with flood damage and look at prevention. We have a significant maintenance and repair and replacement budget even more significant in the last few years because of this very thing. But yes, we're always looking at how we can do those things better. I did reach out to St. George City to ask about those concerns of those business owners on Red Rock Road. I'm told that it is being looked into. And Dave, you know, after a summer with barely any rain, boy, did it rain there in St. George last night. I'm here at Point of the Mountain, and we've got a lot of wind right now. I know we're going to talk with Kevin in a bit, but boy, it is very windy here right now. All right, Slad, hang on. Thank you for that report. <laughs>